Today I will show you how to make this trippy displacement effect. Yo, it's Bobikas here and real quick guys, I just want to say that this tutorial idea was actually a scrap from a year ago. I made this effect while I was editing visuals, but after seeing that a lot of people wanted it when I posted on Instagram, I decided to make a tutorial. So if there's any tutorial that you guys want, you can DM me on Instagram or Discord and I might try to make it as a tutorial or you can also check my Instagram stories to see what kind of tutorials I'll be posting and you can see if you will want to watch them. But anyways, let's begin. All right, so here I have a clip of Yeet from How Does He Does It, a music video. This is a pretty old music video. And what we can do is we can either roto brush him or we can just do nothing and not roto brush him and just straight up make the effect. But I guess we can roto brush him. So we can press control D to just duplicate the layer. And now we can right click on the layer, pre-compose, uh, call it like roto brush layer, I actually call it whatever you want and press move while I into new composition, press OK. And I'll double press on the composition. And here we have our layer. And now we want to double press here again, go to the roto brush tool and just start drawing. So basically yeah. uh, you can scale this up, scale this down by holding control and you can seriously just draw around him and adjust and you know how to roll the bush most likely if you don't know there's a plenty of tutorials on youtube so you can check them out uh, my friend Pelly from editing visuals also has a tutorial in it so if you want he can teach you from that tutorial but i'll be back after i'm done roto brushing so i'm basically back roto brushing i didn't really finish roto brushing i already had roto brushed it but this is my roto brush if you turn this off you should have something like this uh, it doesn't need to be a character it can be anything uh, like an object a car a car would be cool as well I mean, anything. And yeah, I will also like to add Gaussian blur on the Rotobush and give it blurness of free, uh, just to make uh, the Rotobush a bit better. And now we can go below the Rotobush and here we can press Ctrl Alt Y and here we can start adding some effects. So first effect I like to add here is pretty optional. It's S Warp Bubbles 2. Now that already looks like a really cool effect, uh, but here we can like really mess around. So I like to make the A frequency here to 0.71. It just lowers the frequency and makes it a bit more visible and the A amplitude to 0.663. Uh, these are very random numbers, but uh, that just looks kind cool and i like to make the ac to like 0.72 just a different seed like mess around with the seeds and i don't really like to change anything else here but uh, you cannot even have this effect to be honest and now we can add s pseudo color now this is a needed effect if you want to make that like rainbow effect uh, and i'm gonna make the frequency to 2.4 just a bit of a different color it will give and the hue shift to minus 0.5 that's looking nice and now we can add a plugin, which is called Displacer Pro. Uh, as pseudo color was already from the Sapphire plugin, so make sure to have that. Uh, Displacer Pro is actually a free plugin, so everyone should have it. But I will also show a method without a plugin, without any Displacer Pro plugin. So stay tuned for that. Here, I like to make the scale something different. So like, for example, minus 111 uh, should be good. And I can mess around with like the channels and map layers. Honestly, translate X, translate Y, like that looks already super cool. Like that is already a different effect. I yeah, you can mess around so much with this effect, so I really like this effect. Uh, and at the start, we can go to the start and we can just press on the scale. Now we can add an optional effect, which is S flicker. I, I just We just want to have some flicker, you know. And here we can make it template to whatever, like 0 0.36, very random. And the last effect I like to add here is deep glow. Now in deep glow, I like to make it kind of high to like 3.51. And let's increase the radius to like 591. And yeah, that's looking really good. This is how the effect looks. Um, yeah, again, so many adjustments you can make here. It, it is kind of crazy how many adjustments you can make. But one thing I like to do here is press U and you will see our keyframe that we made. And we can go to the ending, which is right here. And here I'm going to make it to 84%. And I'll look how it will look right now. And here we can uh, select both the keyframes, press F9. And now press on one of the keyframes, go to the graph editor. And here I like to make the graph go like this, like up there. And this one just a bit down like this. Yeah, maybe like that. That's looking really good. And this is how your effect will look. That is insane. I think, and yeah, you really need to mess around here a lot. And we can save this as a preset if you want. I can show you way more examples here, but one, one example I need to show you is like what happens if you just uncheck the war bubble, it will look like this. That already looks very cool, but I'm gonna keep it checked. Uh, here's another version I made without the displacer pro, but with displacement map. This is not a plugin, this is an effect built in. So here it's just uh, the, the settings are a bit different. So like I made the max horizontal displacement to like pretty high, like 
378 and uh, max vertical displacement of 100 minus 115 these are very random by the way and the displacement map layer is on the adjustment layer and if you don't want to get the displacer pro plugin which is actually free then you should just add this also without a swar bubble i use these settings here so you can check them out and copy the scale is a bit different here it's at 243 yeah uh very different settings like you can use uh you don't need to follow like every setting exactly as i did this is how it looks on no roto brush seriously just do whatever <laughs> and i really plan on making more cheapy tutorials in the future i already have some made so you can check them out as well and i would also like to let you know that i have been a video editor for around seven years now and what has helped me a lot in my editing journey are presets that saved me a lot of time uh so i actually have a publicos.com website where i sell video editing presets i use them in basically every single edit i make and they are the biggest time savers i've ever had and they actually just have really cool effects you might sometimes need to tune the effects but that's like very rare so i would really recommend to check out publicos.com if you want to save a lot of time and have insane effects that have been made with a lot of love but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know if you have any suggestions then you can let me know in the comments or dm me on instagram if you have anything very rarely specific but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya